a lot of Holland is below sea level, so we're always uh, fighting against the sea, but also have to live with the sea. That's in our Dutch heritage. So the sea is really in my, in my veins. My grandfather uh, started the shipyard in 1927, six miles down the river. We are a market leader in uh, Tuk and workboats all around the world, but we built a, a big range of vessels. If you look at the mark of the Tuk and workboats, we are uh, the number one in the world. If you look at mega yachts, we are one of the top three. We also make naval vessels, uh, dredgers, uh, and vessels for the offshore wind. We want to have fast delivery times, and you can only achieve that if you make vessels in stock. The idea of producing stock vessels came, uh, came out in 1969, uh, when my father took over the shipyard from his father. We already do it for 42 years, but we're still unique in this model. Dam is one of the few shipyards is, uh, is able to produce vessels in any place in the world. We have uh, 35 shipyards in uh, 15 countries. In shipbuilding there are no, uh, no competitors, they produce so much uh, vessels a year. One of the booming markets on this moment is the offshore wind industry. Uh, if you see uh, the vessel behind, it's for uh, Mr. Mike Condenfree, uh, director of Marinco. He is our uh, launching customer for these offshore wind support vessels. People working at uh, offshore wind farms are normally used to work at windmills uh, ashore. Most of the wind farm vessels, they, they, they tell you that they can operate in uh, 1.5 to 2, 2 meter swells. In reality, we tend to find they stop about 1.2 uh, meter swells. And the usable vessels used in the offshore wind industry are small vessels slamming on the waves. Where they do that, we're still docking in 2.5, maybe 3 meter seas. This vessel is called an, uh, an, a, a twin X, 26 meters by 10 meters beam. Uh, it's unique by, uh, by its form, it's a CX bow. The bow form is, uh, is like an X and we developed it together with the University in Delft, uh, the shipbuilding university. Research and development is uh, one of the backbones of Diamond. We make innovative designs like you see at the X bow uh, for the offshore wind farms. It reduces for instance 25% fuel and also you keep on going with high waves. We were taking information from our clients on the wind farms. We wanted to ensure that when we brought the vessel to the market that we would cover everything that the clients required. So we discussed all this with Damon and they incorporated it in the design. The day of the sea trials for the Shamal, we went down to Rotterdam to the canal and outside at sea it was a force five, six, about three and a half metre seas and it was very rough. Normally you would never go out, never go out at all, never go out. A little voice in the back of my head said to me, if you don't go out you will never know. And I thought, that's true. So it was full throttle and straight into the, the, the sea. And the vessel was amazing. If nobody on board expected it to be so good. Nobody. We knew she had the capabilities to do it, but she exceeded everything we expected. It's longer. It's wider. It's far higher out the water. Its sea keeping qualities are far better. It can carry more cargo. The technicians, who are the most important passengers you carry, much prefer to use this vessel than every other one and they say it time and time again. The, the vessel sells itself, uh, we've, we've no problem at all with that, she sells herself. We at Diamond not only build vessels for operating at day one, uh, we uh, design the vessels to operate uh, during their lifetime. For that we're using also Siemens PLM, especially for the naval vessels, where you look after the lifetime, the maintenance is very important. We already work for five years together with Siemens. We have a very good partnership. We are talking now with Siemens together how can we develop on renewable energy, on sustainable work. I feel proud when I see the family name on the vessel, but everybody who's working here, they indeed made the vessels and they all be part of the Dama family. When I was a young boy, I already worked in this shipyard. It was always clear that one day we would work for the family business in the shipbuilding. What gives me spirit is that I see every day all the people working for Dama and producing these fantastic vessels. We are very happy because we make a client happy.